Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, talking about how you can find out the efficiency of your battery charger. So let's get started. Okay, so the first question you're probably asking is, um, why do I want to know the efficiency of my battery charger? All I do is plug it into the wall and it charges my battery. Who cares? Well, the people that care are the people that live purely off grid and that will charge batteries from other battery banks using either solar or plugging it directly into uh, like a, you know, like a gas generator. And so they need to know how much gas they're going to require to charge up their battery bank or how much inefficiency is going to happen from charging it from a solar bank to just an individual battery, uh, something along those lines. Uh, if you're just plugging it into your house to charge your battery, this, this video really isn't for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through the steps on what you need to do. And it's pretty easy depending on what type of battery charger you have. Uh, first of all, the battery charger I'm going to be showing as an example is just this Hasido 20 amp charger. Uh, I'm just going to be having it set at 10 amps to make it easier to calculate things. Uh, what's nice about this one is that, that it has a display on there and it tells you the amount of amperage and the voltage that's being pushed to the battery at that time. Uh, so you can make an easy calculation just from this screen, which we'll go ahead and do now. But before that, what else you need is a way to monitor what's coming directly from your AC source. Uh, so I just have a simple kilowatt meter. I think I got this at... Uh, I think I got this at Harbor Freight for like $20. So these are very useful when it comes to calculating your efficiencies. Okay, so we have our kilowatt meter plugged in and we are gonna have it set to watts right there. And so that way it's, it makes it a nice easy calculation. That way we're not uh, trying to convert from the AC amperage and voltage to the DC amperage and voltage. Everything we're gonna to try to convert to watts to make it as easy as possible. All right, first thing we wanna do is let's go ahead and plug in our charger. Okay, charger is turning on. Uh, it says off because there's nothing uh, clamped. It's not clamped to any batteries. And you can see that it's already using 1.6 watts just sitting here, 1.5 watts. Uh, you know, since it's an electronic device, it is going to use some electricity just to keep it powered on, even though the display says off. Okay, and since this uh, battery charger does have a monitor on it, we're going to go ahead and just clamp it right to this uh, Red Odeo battery, and we're going to read the numbers off of here to, cal to calculate the efficiency. That is the easiest way to do it without any other additional tools. So let's go ahead and clamp it to the battery. And like I said, I have it set on 10 amps. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to get to fully operational. So it should say 10 amps or 9.9 .9 and then whatever the voltage says. Okay. It looks like it is in full operation now. It's, it's doing a full 10 amp charge. And you can see that it is pushing 10 amps right here. And the display will also show the volts right here, 13. So it's pushing, this unit is pushing 13 volts at 10 amps. And all you have to do is multiply those together to get your wattage. So that's 130 watts. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. And then what we gotta do is just, we gotta look at what is being used straight from the outlet. So it shows, let's just say, it looks like it's fluctuating between 159, 161, 150. So we're gonna say 160 watts. So you divide that, you divide what this says by 160. And you get an 81.25% efficiency rate. Now that is the down and dirty way of doing it. That gives you a pretty good estimate of what you're gonna be getting from this charger. Uh, you're only gonna get 81% of the juice going into this battery from your source. If you actually wanted to be more, more accurate, you would need to actually monitor it from the battery source itself over here because you're going to be losing some voltage through this wire. So let's just put our multimeter on volts for DC. 
and this says that it's pushing 13.1 but if you put your probes right on the clamp meter like on the inside here right where the wires connect to the actual clamps you can see that our voltage is actually only 12.7 well 12.68 but we're going to say 12.7 so if you clear this and take since it was 12.7 at 10 amps, we're going to say 127 because you multiply 12.7 times 10 and then divide that by 160. And now you can see that our efficiency actually dropped from 81.25% down to 79.375% efficiency. So our, our best average for this would be saying that this, this uh, charger is about 80% efficient. Okay, so that first example using this Hasido was pretty easy because it has a monitor on there that can make it a lot easier for you to do your calculations. But what if you have a battery charger that doesn't have a monitor like this one? How do you go about uh, figuring out the efficiency of that? So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, so once again, we're going to be plugging it into our kilowatt because that's going to be displaying our AC side of our equation. So let's go ahead and plug in the battery charger. All right, and this battery charger with it just being on, uh, it is using, it looks like it's using four watts. So this, this battery charger is actually, oh, actually, and it just went down. So it must be, it must have like kind of charged it up a little bit, but it's only using 0.8 watts now. So at first it was using about four watts, but once I'm guessing maybe a, we needed to charge up a capacitor or something like that. Uh, but now it's sitting at 0.8 watts. So uh, it's, it is actually a little bit more efficient than the, the ones that have screens on it, even though this charger is actually a 30 amp charger. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and just put these clamps uh, right on the battery to get it to start charging. We're going to let it charge for about 10 to 20 seconds. So that way we know that the charger is uh, at its best performance. But with this charger, there is no display to tell you the amperage that it's actually uh, pushing into the battery uh, or the voltage. So uh, we're gonna have to figure those out using a multimeter. And the best way to do it is using a clamp meter because that way you know exactly what your amperage is. Even though this is a 30 amp charger, I wanna confirm that using my clamp meter because there could be uh, something wrong with the charger, anything like that, so you always wanna confirm it. After that, we're going to take the voltage at the clamps and we're going to multiply the amperage of the charger to the voltage of what's going into the battery to find out what our wattage is. And we'll compare it to what the kilowatt shows on the AC side. Okay, first of all, let's confirm that it's 30 amps. And it's actually 30.2 amps being pushed into this battery right now. So we'll use that as our amperage number. So what we're going to do is go clear 30.2 and we're going to multiply that by the voltage at the clamps. So we'll move this to volts, select DC. And measure right at the clamps. So let's just say 13.4. So we'll multiply that, multiply 30.2 by 13.4. And that equals 404.68 watts. Now let's see what is actually being pulled from the AC side. 481 watts, 482. So it looks like it's fluctuating, but we're just gonna say 481 watts. So we're going to divide this by 481. And that shows us having an efficiency of 84.13%. Okay, so that is the down and dirty way of figuring out the efficiency of your battery charger. Um, if you have any questions or if you actually have a better way of finding out the efficiency, 
uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.